Right, so um, Steve Crouch chaired us and I uh, wrote stuff down and I think I pretty much got what we said. Um, we had discussions of all sorts of things that sort of make it into the final edit. And here's a uh, flavour of those, so we went, went through e science and all manner of things, <laughs> ye, 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 you, a series of, 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 of successes and failures in collaborative projects. But here's the main meat of what we got. So, who should be collaborating? There has to be some sort of business case for collaborating. If you look at the uh, stuff in, in italic, which is those people who shouldn't be collaborating, um, people shouldn't be pushed together purely for funding purposes. There should actually be a reason to collaborate that's a science or business case for doing it. Otherwise, there's a danger of um, people getting annoyed and it all falling, falling apart. And there should actually be some benefit that's, that's derived from the synergy which you gain from the collaboration. I'm not going to talk about leveraging synergies too much. <laughs> there has to be a clear vision about what you're going to get from the collaboration. And people, at least one person in the collaboration, has to be actually invested in that vision and the benefit that's going to be provided by it. There has to be, and, and, and ideally, sort of jumping down one, all the parties need to, to be beneficiaries from the collaboration and stakeholders in it to some extent. If people aren't deriving, if, if everyone isn't deriving benefit from it, then, then it's going to be a fairly loose collaboration and it could just drift apart. And to stop it drifting apart, you need some sort of control to ensure that it stays together. So if there's someone with a clear vision and who's, who's going to drive it, then there needs to be the stru structures there for them to, ena no, 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 to enable them to keep the whole thing together and travelling on down the road to a successful conclusion. If people don't have that, then maybe they shouldn't be collaborating. How to collaborate. The key thing we're seeing is having good communications and defined channels via which that communication goes. So you know who to talk to, maybe they then disseminate stuff out to the other in, interested part parties. And going, going back to the vision statement again, you need a clear, clear definition of what the responsibilities of the partners are and commitment. The collaboration should be there from the outset. So going from the business case, that should drive the collaboration that should start from the beginning, rather than sort of trying to cobble people together as slightly after the fact, which will tend to lead to a loose collaboration again. Personal contact, that goes back to the communications. You can have communication channels. You need the personal contact there to help make that real. And people need to be responsive to that communication. You also need people to project manage it. They need to be the able people. You might need to have multiple project managers for various as aspects. Um, also, you need to value the contributions that the collaborators make to help to keep the collaboration together. If there are existing frameworks, it's good to build on those because then you're building on known, known collaboration success. And people who are used to collaborating already, there are various tools out there. Reuse the tools if, 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 if you can. What prevents collaboration? Funding can sometimes, it, it can be difficult to get the funding for there for collaboration. Um, there's a mindset issue that, that people may not be in a mindset to collaborate. And then finding the people to collab, collab, collaborate when you are in the mindset may also be a, be a problem. The ref metrics are not necessarily aligned to value collaboration if your, your ref is... is, is um, Die, die, diluted by having a, a hundred people on the paper. For, for example, you get one, one one hundredth of it. There's research hugging, so people might be jealous of their research results. There are some mitigations there, such as having agreements in there. And there are a series of human scale fears, such as trust, <coughs> failures in communication, fear of exposure, but um, social lub lubrication via social contact, visit, go, going down to the pub, Having restaurants and having that human connection can help mitigate those human scale fears. <laughs>